I know this sounds a little crazy and I still can't believe it, but here I am, a fully grown man, and yet I still pretend that I'm loading a magazine into a handgun every time I swap over drill batteries. Does that sound like you? Let me know down below. Yeah, it's a little weird. It's like um, ever since they brought out all this cordless gear, I think we all do it. And the reason why I do it, I think, is that I'd like to be a little bit like um, James Bond. Yeah, yeah. You know, license to drill. <laughs> Get it? I said drill, didn't say kill. Nah, didn't say license to kill. I said, I said drill because of the, uh, the bond connection. And that's the, um, that's, that's the joke. I'll go. G'day folks, Uncle Knackers here from DIY for Knuckleheads and welcome to episode four of my workshop, Hacks, Tips and Tricks video series. And in today's video, we'll be looking at the holy grail of household tools, the cordless drill, sharing a few simple tips on how to make drilling holes that little bit easier. And remember, for more good stuff, just like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell. You're a legend. No doubt we've all seen the old trick of applying tape to a drill bit to act as a depth gauge, which works really well. But after drilling multiple holes, the end of that tape can get a bit ragged, which means that it's not as accurate as when you first applied it. So as an alternative, try this. Go grab yourself a permanent marker like a Sharpie, and then on the drill bit, mark a line across your desired depth for your hole and you're good to go. Beautiful. And the same sort of thing can be done to a regular drill bit. Just mark on the drill bit the depth you want your hole, and then with the Sharpie, mark the drill bit, and then just slowly start the drill and you've got yourself a depth gauge and you're up and running. Too easy. Oh yeah, just very quickly, do yourself a favor and make sure you watch the entire video because toward the end, I've got a couple of cracking tips that you won't wanna miss. Now tip number two is an oldie but a goodie and I learnt it all the way back in the day of the dinosaur back in 1982 during a year eight woodwork class and I think that was taken by Mr Tapscott. Now the idea is, is before you drive that screw into some wood, grab yourself some wax. I've just got some surfboard wax here but any old wax will do really and then just coat that thread of the screw with that wax and that will make driving that screw with your cordless drill so much easier. And in particular, if you're driving the screws by hand, this tip is gold. How easy was that? That was like a hot knife through butter. Now old Tappy had pretty greasy hair and he used to tell us, if you can't lay your hands on any wax, just grab your screw and rub it through your hair and the natural oils from your hair will coat the screw doing the same job. And I'll tell you what, it actually does work. So there you go, there's today's bonus tip. Now for anyone out there who hasn't got the space in their workshop for a drill press or can't justify the cost of buying one just to drill a couple of holes, you might find that drilling a hole straight with your cordless drill a little tricky. So I think my next tip, my next cost effective tip, should help you out. Now all you need to do is get a couple of pieces of scrap, which is great, because it's cost you nothing, and just make sure that this edge here is nice and square. Like you can see, just like that. And now all you need to do is to grab your cordless drill and place the drill bit hard on the inside edge, hold on tight, and away you go. Now that, I have to say, isn't too bad. I love it. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. Now this little handy tip can be a real time saver. 
Grab yourself a magnet. I've got a rare earth magnet here. They're really strong and just attach that to the side of the drill. The metal parts inside of the cordless drill should attract that magnet and hold it in place. But you can hot glue it there if you want to. Now to save time going through your nail bag, trying to find the right screw, just attach these to that magnet for easy access. My next handy little tip is this Jimmy Duresta inspired homemade drill press for a cordless drill. It's an absolute ripper. You can knock one of these up in about 10 minutes flat, add a scrap wood, so it costs you nothing. But the key is you need to have this a perfect 90 degree angle, just like that. Now as well as making the actual drill press, you'll also need to hot glue a block to the top of the cordless drill. And that block will fit nicely inside those tracks, making it easy for the drill to slide up and down. And it works just like this. Beautiful. Now we'll just check that one for up and down and bang. That looks pretty good. I'm a happy chappy. Now here's a handy tip that I learned the hard way. If you find yourself out on a job site and your cordless drill is running low on juice and you don't have a spare battery lying around, switch the power from two, which is fast, down to one, which is slow, and hopefully that will conserve enough energy in that battery to finish the job. Now this next tip is really handy if you're nailing close to the end of a thin bit of material, like what I've got here, which is hardwood, which is also very brittle. So what you normally do is you drill a pilot hole on the ends there, and then you can nail away without fear of splitting that wood. But if you don't have a drill bit the same size or slightly smaller than your nail, you're in a bit of trouble. So what we can do is use the actual nail and just snip off the head, just like that, and then we can use the nail as the drill bit. Let's see how it works. One hole. Two holes. And hopefully this shouldn't split. Lovely. Perfecto. Okay guys, you ready for this one? This is my final tip and it's brought to you by my special guest, Sir David Attenborough. The world as we know it is an astonishing place, but there's one age old question that has puzzled mankind since the dawn of time. And that is, can you peel an apple with a cordless drill. Let's find out. And the answer is yes. Yes, you can. Mmm. Delicious. Great tip, knackers. Peeling apples. Who would have thought? I might have to go into the apple peeling business after seeing that. I hope you enjoyed that little selection of tips and tricks. And if you did, a big thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. And after all of that, I think I really need a cup of tea. So till next time, be good, be safe, and I'm out of here. Cheers. <laughs>